An example I use sometimes that's not the cleanest, not the most PC, but it really works, is the munchies. So if you think about folks who are generally lean, but then they enjoy a little bit of cannabis in the evening, and all of a sudden they're ravenously hungry and eating everything in sight and things they wouldn't normally do, why can't that happen with biology normally? Why can't somebody have a stronger ghrelin pathway making you hungry throughout the day that makes it very hard to constantly avoid snacking and avoid eating extra calories. If you have this constantly higher than average signal, then that's just going to add up over time and make you eat more calories. So for someone who's a disbeliever here about the biology of weight loss, and it's just willpower or lack thereof, look at it that way. Have you ever seen somebody who is in great shape, but then the minute they, you know, enjoy a little bit of, of THC, all of a sudden they're eating a pint of ice cream and unable to control themselves and regretting it the next morning. Those are binging behaviors that we see in folks who are not eating cannabis products, but instead have inherited an unfortunate kind of balance of the regulatory hormones that tell us when to eat and when we're full. So if you can do that with a chemical product like THC, why can't you inherit that biologically? So in this case, GLP-1 medications are just fixing that unfortunate inheritance of those stronger signals and allowing individuals to just lose weight the way that it works for everybody else. If you've inherited a tougher metabolism, Using medications to level the playing field isn't cheating. It's actually what's kind of fair for you. In this case, I'm talking about GLP-1 medications. There are so many hormones in our bodies controlling our appetites. These include GLP-1, PYY, ghrelin, leptin, and a bunch of others. On top of that, our mitochondria, the parts of our cells that make energy. We inherit those and along with them, some mitochondrial genes that may make us less efficient at actually burning calories for energy from fat and glucose and those things. So all those areas fall into things that we inherit and have very little control over, which is why if you're using a medication to fix that sort of thing, it's just giving you the same opportunity as everybody else who inherited the other end of the spectrum with those genes. Ones that control appetite easily. Ones that help you burn calories with less effort. Ones that tell your brain to get you moving even when you're not thinking about it. A concept called NEAT, 